Hi, I'm Ann Barrow McKenzie and I'm coordinator of college relations for Villanova University College of Nursing. And I'm here today speaking with some third year doctoral students. I'm with Lori Rush, who's with us to talk about her feelings about the doctoral program in nursing. Lori, thanks for talking with us today. Sure. Can you tell folks a little bit about why you selected Villanova and your area of interest in terms of uh, research? Sure. Well, I was looking for a doctoral program. Um, I am currently faculty. Been um, at the time, I've been faculty for about two years, and knew that the doctoral um, degree was what is in my future. So I was looking for something that was going to work for my family, and and um, I I was looking for a distance learning program because I knew I couldn't be away. I have two young kids, two young boys, and. Um, so I was looking for something I knew was going to be out of town, but I needed to have uh, the flexibility and I needed to not be gone a lot. Um, so there was a couple of schools that required me to be gone um, more during the year than I thought I could do with my job and, and family. Mm -hmm. So um, the fact that Villanova had um, the, the, the short, relatively short um, summer intensive program and then the online courses, the online courses being synchronous was really the big seller for me too because I knew <clears throat> I had taken distance courses before um, but they were asynchronous and uh, my master's program was in a classroom so I was a little worried and so the synchronous uh, nature of the online courses was a big selling point for me. Mm -hmm. And what are you looking at in terms of uh, your area of interest while you're in the program? Well, I want to study, I'm, I'm really interested in how our students, our nursing students learn and how they get, come to, um, you know, be the professionals that we need them to be right out of school. Unfortunately, those demands are really high. So I'm looking at the development of clinical reasoning and, and decision making. How do they learn that and what do we need to do as faculty um, to help them learn that and be more um, uh, you know, just be ready to meet the demands that they need in the in the changing healthcare system. So mm -hmm. I figure if we can look at a piece of that, maybe we can do a better job teaching. Yeah. And how has the design of the curriculum helped you formulate that area of interest <coughs> and move that along for you? Sure. That has been very helpful because it, we started really abstract with our concepts course um, and, and looking at what design do we need, um, what what what, ide what ideas are out there? What's the literature? Really get into literature and find out what what's a feasible topic, and that really helped me really figure out what my research topic was going to be. Because mm -hmm. I came in with a whole different idea um, of patient safety, but getting into literature and really and talking with faculty and talking with my cohort with, and other fac other um, students has been just so helpful with. Um, uh, really getting that topic set. So starting really abstract and being forced to get literature. And then as we moved along, it's been, well, what do you think your question might be? What are you interested in? And really just putting the building blocks in place. Mm -hmm. So I mean, meeting the needs that I didn't know that I had has mm -hmm. been really a, a key to this process. So it sounds like the faculty were were supportive for you. Can you talk a little bit more about the faculty here at the in the program? Sure. Um, I have. Uh, I be, I'm from Nebraska, so uh, um, many of the people in my cohort are, are from the region, except for maybe another person. Um, so I was a little worried about: Am I going to be able to? How am I going to connect with these people? But the fact that you're there uh, twice a week online with them. Um, you can ask questions. Um, usually I'm online with my cohort members, my um, fellow students as well. Um, so that's been, that, that communication has not been a problem. So I don't feel that I'm X hundred miles away. Right. I'm, <clears throat> I have that access. Um, they are very responsive on email. Email, I you know, put my kids to bed, back on email later at night. Um, I've been able to communicate that way. Um, and then very easily set up meetings on the phone. Um, to talk, so it hasn't been an issue. Like I, I was concerned it might be in the beginning, just because being so far away, not having that mm -hmm. access. But they know who I am when I call them up, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of nice. So they've been able to share their expertise with you, and it sounds like your yeah. cohort has been able to do that as well. Can you speak a little bit about how you all bond together and? Yeah. Because I think that's a concern people have when they hear about a distance learning format, or mostly distance learning format, where there's a concern of being isolated. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. I, I was not aware. I did not know that I would be with a cohort. I mean, I realized there'd be more people coming in, but when I say cohort, I just figure, well, there'll be other students studying. Um, as other friends of mine have been in doctoral programs, they've just been a sole person, and they've just been moving along. Mm -hmm. um, the cohort is really a, just the amazing support. I know everybody's different, every group has a different behavior, but um, my group and the group before us, we have really joined together to be 
support for each other and I've never realized how, what I needed and the value of that group support and everybody putting their two cents and it's not they're not always telling you everything you want to hear but they're telling what you need to know okay. to, to move forward so mm -hmm. that that support I was a um, unexpected uh, blessing for me mm -hmm. um, uh, come to go through the program so that's been great and even now we've been uh, we, we keep t in touch even when classes aren't going mm -hmm. on and supporting each other and Lori, what about um, the technology itself that helps support the program or the distance learning format in the program? Uh, were you like some other people who have come in and you're a little unsure about the technology? I understand there's an orientation, but then people mm -hmm. start to feel a little better about it. I wasn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't too concerned about the technology. Um, I felt I felt fairly comfortable with that, having been um, having teaching and using that kind of technology, um, and then having taken distance learning courses before, of course, not the synchronous courses, but, um, you know, any issues we had, it was not, you know, oh my gosh, we're, that's all, it's all ruined, we're done, it was, okay, let's roll with it and we'll fix it if there was an issue. Um, but as far as, you know, being able to connect, being able to actually have classes, I mean, no problem. Um, you know, internet has, it has issues and they drop out, but um, we get it back or we, we email or we reschedule something, but that hasn't been a... a that's been an outlier uh, as opposed to the norm. The norm has been just plug in wherever you're at, and you're sitting in your jammies at home, or whether you're in your office <laughs> at work, couldn't <laughs> get home. <laughs> yeah, you're you're you got class going on, so <laughs> <laughs> hasn't been hasn't been an issue um, for myself, um, or you know, as a as a main, a main thing throughout the course throughout the courses. So. Uh -huh. Lori, is there anything else you feel would be important or helpful for a prospective student to know about the doctoral program in nursing at Villanova? I think one of the things that has surprised me is that I didn't know what I needed, but they have met my needs. Um, you know, the, just the, the hospitality of coming in here, um, you know, flying in all on my own, leaving family behind. They had um, dinners set up for us. They had social events um, and networking events for us. Um, and even just the staying in the dorms during the summer intensive. Um, you can't quantify what you learn from just talking to other people about what they go through um, what they're studying, what their questions are, um, and just in general stuff that happens outside the classroom has been really beneficial to, you know, and I just didn't, I didn't anticipate that coming mm -hmm. in. Um, so, and it just, I felt like, again, my needs have been met, you know, just um, with, with the accessibility, with uh, people welcoming you to the campus, and I ran into somebody today, I was out walking at the campus during <laughs> during one of our breaks, and, and the person stopped by, oh, you know, do you know where you're going? Where you? I was like, well, yes, I've been here for three years, but <laughs> okay, just wanted to see. <laughs> and uh, so that was nice, people kind of reach out to you, so. Good. Well, Lori, thanks for sharing all that sure. with us today. Very helpful for uh, people looking at the program. I appreciate it. Thank you.